What's up YouTube, this is Paul from Mickey Tech Tips and today we're going to be taking apart a floppy disk drive. And for those of you that don't know what a floppy disk drive is, it's basically one of those pieces of recently obsolete technology that, that was replaced by like a thumb drive. So I thought, you know what, since I don't use my floppy disk drive anymore out of my extra PC, I thought let's just take it apart. So let's get started. Okay, so this floppy drive was made in around 2005, which was the period of transitioning transitioning from the floppy disk drive to the thumb drive slash CD um, drive era. And even look at this. This is a 320 gigabyte uh, Western Digital um, 2.5 inch drive. Set on top of it. That probably isn't good for the drive anyway, but set it on top of it. It's a lot smaller than the floppy disk drive itself, which means that technology has get, gotten smaller. And like this holds up a lot more data than that floppy disk drive does. And if you look back here, there's a floppy disk. It's thin. You probably you could probably stick probably a couple of them to make up the the width of a um, two and a half inch hard drive but the problem with the floppy drive was it's slow and it's old and inside of it 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 has tape and tape drives even though people still use tape drives for automatic not automatic but mass data backup on the cheap they are still very slow and that's why they've been ditched for for the most part in favor of like uh, hard drives because you can pick up a one terabyte three and a half inch drive for about 55 bucks so yeah let's take this thing apart so the first thing I gotta do is take off the screws move that iPad um, stand out of the way let's zoom this out too um, first thing, as I said, first thing I'm going to do is take off the screws. And, is it one of those things? Okay, there we go. And so, this particular PC I pulled it out of, it was basically at the transition age that, um, 2005 was around the age where not every PC came with a floppy disk drive. In fact, some of them some of the floppy some of the PCs had floppy disk drive areas but instead of having a floppy disk you probably had like a media card reader and a lot of them also were switching from the old IDE or PADA interface over to the SATA interface so there's the I, the floppy disk IDE connector and that was still very slow in fact that desktop I put it out of had both the IDE and SATA SATA interfaces so people could migrate data over and that's one of the things though I remember when I was a kid floppy disk drives were still very common and then they came off thumb drives and whatnot in fact I backed up all the floppy disk drive no not floppy disk drives but all the floppy disk including the one that was in this drive up to an external um, hard drive didn't even take up a, it didn't it only took up about I think less than a hundred megabytes which is small for the drives and if I get this out of the frame I am so sorry I'm trying to do the best I can but it's kinda hard to grip on these because these screws have never been undone because this thing had a quick release system where you could pull down the level and pull it out well uh, whereas conventional um, computers like either a custom built one or, or an older one you had to screw the drive into the PC so this one had a quick release system I hate it just because there's other parts of that PC with the quick release system and it kind of makes it hard for stuff to stay in place. So, get the last screw out. So there we go. The next thing to pop out is the front cover. There we go. 
And I think on the sides, how does that pop out? I think I just push with the screwdriver. Yeah. Let's see. Well, that's nice. Let's see if I can get this out. Yes. So, there was a tab right here that I just pushed out. And then there's another one, I think, like, right there. And then there's another one right there that I have to push out. And and trying to do this wide, trying to keep this inside of a frame isn't always easy, as I just said. So, I'm bracing this against myself so I can push, pop the top off. And there we are. There's the top of it. And there we are. We're inside the floppy disk drive. So, the disk would go in like this. And then you'd push the thing and it would pop out. And so that's how floppy disk drive worked. And this is not a 3D printed save image. In fact, how they got the save you know, the save image for most programs was from the original floppy disk because they did not always have CD drives on a PC. So this should pop out. And let's see, how does this one pop out? Yeah. Mechanism. Mechanism for the floppy drive. Let's tilt this up a little. Okay, so that's how that floppy drive works. Let's take the spring out. So, by do taking the spring out, I don't think we could use this anymore. Yeah, maybe. Okay, we can still somewhat use it, but not as we could before. Oh, I see now. This pops up. Pops out on the side. So, let's see. No, I just put it stuck in, and I just put it was stuck in like this, and I just pulled up on it. Nice. So there's inside the drive itself, and so there's that spring again. And so how this worked, it'd go in. And of course, it's not going to do anything now because I took the mechanism off that it stayed in place in, but it would slide in. And pop out. And then this is what read the floppy disk itself because it had tape inside of it, like a cassette tape. In fact, this has games on it that are kind of obsolete, but um, if I ever build like an, a super retro virtual machine or like a super retro PC in the future, I can pull these games up because on an external drive. So something more modern. So there's inside of a floppy disk. And there's the the right thing so you could lock lock the floppy disk so no no one could write over it. In fact most commercial discs had that removed. And um, there's the f disk itself. And it went on here like this. Yeah. So, yeah. Basically went on here like this. And it... It sped around. And... Okay, I see why, why I was having problems. So there we go. It's acting like I got a disc in the drive now. But it would go on here and it sped around with this reed head right here. So similar to what a conventional um, disk drive does, except instead of this being like metal, this is plastic film, and so it would go around like this, and that would read it. So, yeah. And then there's both sides of the read head, so 
at Reddit. Yeah. That's another thing I'm trying to watch out for. I don't want to make a, too big of a mess. And I'm sorry that just tilted. I accidentally bumped it. But don't want to make too big of a mess. And this stuff's rel relative easy to break. It's going everywhere. So, yeah, so this is mainly dependent on like springs and stuff. And what else is there to take apart? So this just has a few extra things left. Um, so it has a circuit board. Let's see if we can take that apart. But other than that, we got down to the main brains of it. Nothing really special here. Then just pops off. Yeah. I've never taken apart a floppy disk drive before, so I don't know. Yeah, this just pops off somehow. Yeah. So, I don't know how this pops off. Okay, I see how. You gotta unscrew it screw all of it because it's got a bunch of screws but only thing under this is just a socket board that connects it to the um, IDE or PADA interface floppy cable and the power so that's the only thing left under here so we mainly got into the main brains of it so yeah we took apart the floppy disk drive today um, this is the outside of it so we can stick this on that's actually how it went so, yeah. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this educational video. Um, I know some of this stuff's obsolete, but I need to kind of get rid of it somehow. And so, before I get rid of it, I want to do videos like this. And I think I just about, just about took it apart. Or, or have shown off all my obsolete technology. Now, I have gotten rid of most of it in the past few years. It, Starting about five years ago, and I got rid of the ancient PC that didn't even run XP. It ran like Windows ME or, or something like that. So, I've gotten rid of it. I've gotten rid of a lot of my old technology. This is just some of the remnants of it left. So, this is going to the obsolete technology, and it is a teardown of a floppy disk drive. So, remember to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys next time.